everybody, um, I'm going to uh, share the differences between a Google Calendar and Outlook Calendar. The first big thing um, to view your calendar is that Google and Outlook are very, very similar. Um, the difference is that Google has a, a four-day um, view where Outlook has a work week view. And then Google also has an agenda list. Um, so an agenda list is more just the day with the time and less of the full and actual calendar um, looking uh, format. When you're adding events, um, the features um, to, that you can use to add, both of them have a create new, which is all of the details you would need for that event. Um, they both have a click on the calendar, so you can just click on the time of the calendar and then it will add there. Um, and they both have um, labeling systems, although they look a little bit different. Uh, Google, can you can label the events with colors, um, but then Outlook, you can actually add a color category and you can add like a little picture charm. Um, the other difference between Google and Outlook is that Google has a quick add, um, so you can add an event by um, typing in like a sentence for example I have a doctor's appointment at 4 30 p.m. on Tuesday October 1st um, at the Sioux Center Hospital um, and then it will look for those key words and the time and the location and it will add it in for you when you're um, doing a meeting request, they both have RSVP systems, so your, uh, your attendees can RSVP yes or no. You can reserve rooms with both calendars and resources. Uh, for example, we have um, iPads, or you might have a computer cart, or you might have um, a, a TV or something like that you might have to reserve. So there's um, a calendar made for those and you can reserve those things. And um, on a Google Calendar you can view your attendance list. Um, in Outlook you can actually view the availability of the group members. So you can see the group members calendars as long as they're shared with you and you can see if they're um, if that meeting is showing up on their calendar or if there is a conflicted time. With other calendars, um, these both have a, a little bit different features. Google you can share with anybody regardless of if they have a Google account or not. Um, they can, you can create team calendars and then if you have the proper um, permissions you can um, adjust or change or add or anything that you need to to other calendars. Outlook has similar um, features, but um, with sharing with anybody, there is an option for a company or a business or a school, um, however you're using Outlook, to um, put a security feature on where they cannot share externally. So you could only share within um, your area. Um, so for example, my school email is at scwarriors.org, so I could only share my calendar with people that have that at scwarriors.org. You can um, see other group members' calendars. You can have a side-by-side -side viewing. So if you've created multiple calendars, you can um, pull up those calendars side-by-side. Um, -side. And then also, you can maintain other calendars like Google um, as long as you have the correct sharing um, permissions. Now I'm going to show you how to create a, um, an event using Google Calendar. There are three ways to go about this. Um, usually I like to um, show the month just so I can look ahead um, and kind of wrap my brain about what's coming up. So if, um, if you wanted to, you can do it this way um, or you can um, go week by week and then it actually gives you the um, time of the day here. So I'll just leave it at um, the week um, schedule here um, just so that we can have this time. Um, so one way, the long way, um, to create a, ca uh, um, a new calendar, I guess you could say, is um, oops, um, go down to my calendars and you go create new calendar. Uh, let's say I wanted to create my sixth grade team calendar. 
Um, and then you could add a, a description about this. Um, Sioux Center, sixth grade, calendar. Um, you can add a location so I can put Sioux Center, Iowa, United States, Central Time. And then you can share this calendar with others. So um, anyone can see event details. Um, you can also make it public um, if you wanted to do that as well so that anybody can see the calendar. And then here you could enter any email and um, email addresses that would be on your team. Um, and you can change their permissions. So you can see event details, um, make changes, or you can make changes and manage sharing. So this would be like basically they own the calendar as well. Um, so that's how you would create a new calendar. Um, so within this calendar then or, um, you can see um, it'll pop up. So I can pull this up if I wanted to create an event within this calendar. So I could say at um, 9 a.m. on Monday, here's one way to create an event. You can just click on the time. We have our team meeting. Uh, and then it would show up for an hour. And you can change that time if you go to edit event. Um, so let's say I only want to go to 9.45 because that's how long our team meeting goes still. Um, you could enter an actual location um, if you wanted to, but in this case, um, yeah, I could enter... Um, I could enter where it would be, and if there's any other additional guests that you would need to invite, you could put those there. Um, and I don't want to add it to my sixth grade or my own calendar. I wanted to add it to the sixth grade team calendar, so I would change that. If I had a specific color for my um, team meetings, I could change it, but I'm going to leave it as that. But if I wanted to color code it, I could definitely. If I need to have a notification, I can create a notification here, um, 10 minutes ahead, um, and then it would give me uh, an email or uh, a notification even on my phone through my app since it is on there. Show me as busy, calendar default, um, so whatever I had set those original permissions to on my calendar, that's what would happen. So when I click save, it will show up there on my calendar. Another way to create an event is to go to quick add, and this is where I was talking about how you can type in. So I could do um, team meeting on Wednesday, October 4th at 9 o'clock a.m. in Mr. Rosebone's room, and then it will add it there for me based on the criteria that I submitted. Uh, you can also um, create an event the long way, um, kind of like my edit event details that I did. So it's the same thing, but then I would just fill in this information this way.